Hello my dear students, today we will solve exercise 3.7 from the textbook of CBSC board NCRT Mathematics of grade 6. So let's start. Exercise 3.7. Here this is the first question. Renu purchases two bags of fertilizer of weight 75 kg and 69 kg. Find the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of the fertilizer exact number of times. Okay. Before solving this question, let's uh, collect the things which, is, which they have given in the question. Okay. So, given things are weight of first bag of fertilizer is 75 kg. Okay. And weight of second bag of fertilizer is 69 kg. And they have told us to find out maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of both the fertilizer exact number of times. Okay. As they have told us to find maximum value of weight means we have to find the highest value of weight. So for that we have to find HCF of 75 and 69. So first we will find the prime factorization of 75. Uh, the number 75 gets divided by 3. So, let's start from 3. 3, 2 is 6. We got 1 as remainder that we will give to 5. So, this became 15. 3, 5 is 15. Now, 25 gets divided by 5. So, 5, 5 is 25 and then 5, 1 is 5. Okay. Now, let's find the prime factorization of 69. As 69 also gets divided by 3. So, let's start from 3. 3, 2 is 6. 3, 3 is 9. And here 23 is the prime number. Therefore, 23, 1 is 23. Okay. So, uh, 75 is equal to 3 into 5 into 5. And 69 is equal to 3 into 23. Here 3 is common. Therefore, HCF of 75 and 69 is 3. Therefore, the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of both bags is 3 kg. Okay. And this is the final answer of this question. Now, let's move to the second question. Here, this is the second question. Three boys step off together from the same spot. Okay. There are three boys step off together from the same spot. Their steps measure 63 centimeter. 70 centimeter and 77 centimeter respectively. What is the minimum distance each should cover so that all can cover the distance in complete steps? Okay. So, first we will write the things which they have given in the question. So, given is there are three boys and their steps are uh, 63 centimeter, 70 centimeter and 77 centimeter. Okay. And they have told us to find the minimum distance it should cover in complete step. Okay. As they have told us to find minimum distance. Means lowest distance. So for that we will find LCM of 63, 70 and 77. Okay. Uh, and 63 and uh, 63 gets divided by 3. So let's take 3. 3, 2 is 6. 3, 1 is 3. 70 will remain as it is and 77 also will remain as it is. Now again we will take 3 as 3 7s are 21. Now 70 will remain as it is and 77 also will remain as it is. Now uh, all 3 numbers are there in the table of 7. So 7 1s are 7, 7 10s are 70 and 7 11s are 77. Now 10 can get divided by 2. So I will take 2. 2 5s are 10. Uh, 1 will remain as it is. 2 5s are 10. And 11 will remain as it is. Now we will take 5. 5 1s are 5. And 11 will remain as it is. Now 11 1s are 11. Okay. Therefore the minimum distance each should cover in complete steps is 3 into 3 into 7 into 2 into 5 into 11 which is equal to 6930 centimeter. Okay. This is the minimum distance each should cover so that all can cover the distance in complete steps. Okay. Now let's move to the third question. That is the length 
breadth and height of a room are 825 centimeter 675 centimeter and 450 centimeter respectively okay means the length is 825 breadth is 675 and height is 450 centimeter okay find the longer tape which can measure the three dimensions of the room exactly okay uh, let's write first given things okay they have given us length breadth and height of this room okay and they have told us to find the measurement of longer tape which can measure three dimensions exactly so for this as they have told us to find longer tape we have to find hcf of these three numbers okay so first we will find the prime factorization of 825 uh, as this number gets divided by 3 so we will take 3 3 twos are 6 we got 2 as remainder that we will give to next number so this became 22 now we know that 3 sevens are 21 so we got now here 1 as remainder so the next number became 15 3 fives are 15 okay now again we got the uh, number which has uh, uh, no this number won't get divided by 3 so let's take the next prime number that is 5 5 5 is 25 we got 2 as remainder that we will give to next number so this became 25 now again 5 5 is 25 now 55 gets divided by 5 so 5 1s are 5 5 1s are 5 now 11 1s are 11 okay now let's find the prime factorization of 675 now this number gets divided by 3 so let's take uh, 3 3 2s are 6 3 2s are 6 we got 1 as remainder that we will give to next number so this became 15 3 5s are 15 okay now the number can get divided by 3 again so let's take the number 3 3 7s are 21 1 we got as remainder that we will give to next number so this became 15 3 5s are 15 now again uh, 3 or 2 is 6 we got 1 as remainder so 3 5s are 15 okay now we got 25 which can get divided by 5 you so 5 you 5s are 25 and 5 you 1s are 5 you if you are finding any difficulty while finding the prime factorization of any number you can go through my one of video where i had explained in detail how to find prime factorization how to understand which number we have to take while dividing okay uh, i'll give the link of that uh, video in the description okay now let's find uh, prime factorization of 450 so here this number also gets divided by 3 so 3 1s are 3, 3 5s are 15, okay, and then 3 uh, 0s are 0. Now again this number gets divided by 3, so 3 5s are 15 and 3 0s are 0. Now this number gets divided by 2, so 2 2s are 4, 1 we got 1 as remainder that we will give to next, then this became 10, so 2 5s are 10. Now 25 can get divided by 5 you. So, 5 you, 5s are 25 and 5, 1s are 5. Okay. Now, we got prime factorization of all these three numbers. Now, here 3 is common and this 5 you into 5 is common. Okay. Therefore, HCF is equal to 3 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 75. Therefore, the measurement of longer tape which can measure three dimensions exactly is equal to 3 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 75 centimeter. Okay. So, we will move to next question now. That is fourth one. Determine the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6, 8 and 12. Okay. Uh, we have to find a number which is smallest three digit number uh, which can get divided by all these three numbers without leaving any remainder. For that we have to do uh, we have to find out LCM of these three numbers. Okay. So let's find out the LCM of 6, 8 and 12 as all these three numbers are even. So let's divide it by 2. 2. 3s are 6, 2, 4s are 8, 2, 6s are 12. 
Now again we got 4 and 6 as even. Therefore let's take again 2. 3 will remain as it is. 2 2 is a 4 and 2 3 is a 6. Now again we got 2. Therefore let's take again 2. 3 will remain as it is. 2 1s are 2 and 3 will remain as it is. Now we can divide by 3. So 3 1s are 3. 1 will come as it is and 3 1s are 3. So we got LCM of 6, 8 and 12 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 24. But they have told us to find smallest 3 digit number and we got 2 digit number. So what we have to do? We have to find multiple of 24. And that is 24, 48, 72, 96, 120, 144 and so on. Okay. And they have told us to find smallest 3 digit number. And small, here smallest 3 digit number is 120. So the number smallest 3 digit number which can exactly get divided by 6, 8 and 12 is 120. Okay, now let's move to the fifth question. Determine the greatest three digit number exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. The question is same as previous one. Just they have told us to find greatest three digit number and there they had told us to find smallest three digit number. Okay, so we have to use the same procedure as I used in that last video. Uh, sorry, last question. So let's find the LCM of 8, 10 and 12. Okay. So as all three numbers are even. So let's start from 2. 2, 4 is 8. 2, 5 is 10. 2, 6 is 12. Now again we have 4 and 6 even. So let's take again 2. 2, 2 is 4. 5 will remain as it is. And 2, 3 is 6. Now again we have 2 as even. Therefore, let's take 2 again. 2 1s are 2. 5 will remain as it is and 3 will remain as it is. Now, we will take the next prime number that is 3. So, 3 uh, that 1 will remain as it is. 5 will remain as it is and 3 1s are 3. Now, let's take 5. Uh, 1 will remain as it is. 5 1s are 5 and 1 will remain as it is. So, the LCM of 8, 10 and 12 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 5, 3 into 5 which is equal to 120. Now, they have told us to find greatest 3 digit number. Therefore, let's find out the multiples of 120 and those are these many. Okay. Now, here... Uh, the greatest 3 digit number is 960 because after 960, 4 digit number starts. Therefore, the greatest 3 digit number is 960 which can get exactly divided by 8, 10 and 12. Okay. So, um, today we will stop here. We will continue the remaining uh, questions in my next video. Uh, if you like my teaching then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box. I will clear all the doubts. Okay. So bye everyone.